my glasses. I did not sleep well last night, unfortunately. So I don't have stream until seven. So I have a couple things I wanna do. Uh, but first, happy Vlogmas day three. I'm gonna try to edit my Vlogmas day two right now. I'm gonna spend like an hour, an hour, one hour doing that. And then I'm probably just gonna, we're gonna do some fun stuff today actually. Um, I have Christmas decorations. So I wanna put those up. And then I also have some Christmas presents to wrap and I, on my Instagram, I posted, I asked people for some questions. So while I'm wrapping gifts, I'm gonna answer some, some random questions from Instagram. So I'm gonna drink my tea, edit my video, and then I will see you when that's done. Bonk. Video is done. Finally. Took me, oh my gosh, just put ketchup on my broccoli. Video's done. I'm eating chicken nuggies and uh, broccoli. But yes, I am feeling a little overwhelmed because I have a lot of other stuff I still have to get done today. Yeah, I get overwhelmed when I have like a really long mental list of things to do. So I'm gonna do what I always do, which is make a list, a very uh, extensive list of all the things I need to do, including the small things. And then next to it, I write down how long each task is gonna take me and then I, or pri list them in order of priority. I count up all the time, like, okay, how much of this can I realistically get done today? If I can get it all done, great. If not, I'll knock off the bottom things on the list. So that's what helps me actually be productive when I have lots to do. So I'm gonna make a, finish eating and then make my list. Oh, my video posted and then in my Discord, they let me know, hey, there's like three minutes of black screen at the end of your video. So I have to re-export it. Well, I guess I could do my list while I'm waiting for that to be done. So I need to, let's see, I should even write down the things I already did. So edit, video, clean, maybe edit TikTok. Oh, wrap gifts. Okay, so everything on this list is a priority except editing a TikTok. Is, that's the only thing I don't have to do technically. Oh, I also need to cook dinner. It's 3.30, I have four and a half hours side to stream. So so in total, all of these things will take me three hours and 15 minutes, plus the four hours of streaming. So that's great. That leaves me with like 30 to 30 minutes-ish to like take a nap or just like relax. I'm lurking like all day today. I guess I slept in, but I had a headache. So in fact, I still have a headache. <laughs> I'm gonna set a timer. 60 minutes max, I'm gonna spend cleaning the, the house. So I'll see you in 60 minutes. <laughs> Should I be really vulnerable? Do you guys want a tour of what my living room and kitchen look like right now? Here's what my living room looks like right now. Here is what the kitchen looks like right now. Not good. Start your engines. 60 minutes and this, this mess about to go burn. Now that is much better. Those are clothes I have to donate to Goodwill. That is the Christmas decorations. And then there's some presents to wrap. <sighs> Super loud because the dishwasher's going, but I'm gonna check my Instagram DMs. Uh, no, I'm gonna check my Instagram store replies for some cues and then I gotta wrap some presents. Um, wow, there were a ton of really good questions. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to answer. I wrote down some of my faves. Okay, so first question is if I have any tattoos. I do not, but I want some. There's a couple on my on my want, my desire list. Best memory from creator journey. <laughs> oh man, that's so hard. I will always cherish the first time I opened up my Discord server and saw people in voice channels without me in there. Like, that was the first time I realized like, wow, like 
there's a component of community that's like happening here that's I didn't I didn't expect necessarily like I hope for it of course but you know I didn't know what I was getting into really when I started streaming. <laughs> how did you how did you find out the Santa wasn't real? Um, I never believed in Santa Claus. Funny enough, my parents um, didn't teach us that. You know, we were taught the the true like Christmas story and like. We were always told like we could have like obviously like we had fun with like Santa and reindeer and stuff like that, but we never actually believed it was true. We always just believed it was like a character. So I don't feel like I was robbed of any Christmas cheer in that either. You know, I also didn't have to endure the disappointment of learning that I had been lied to. I feel like that's a huge moment of like losing trust with your <laughs> with your children as well. Like, find out even lying to them about Santa Claus all this time. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Um, opinions on social media and the need to fit in and stand out. This is a hard one uh, because like social media, I think amplifies this like innate desire we have to fit in or stand out. But really that's like, it's a human problem, right? That's not, it's, it doesn't, it's not like social media. Although I think social media can fuel it. It's a human problem that we have to fit in like a human desire we have to either fit in or stand out or find some like perfect combination um of the two you know what you know what i think i think the issue is is not to figure out like a balance between those two things i think where you know we find peace from this need to be different is when we stop looking at ourselves so much i think nature was so self-focused and I find, I found that the times that I feel the most at peace, how I look and stuff is when I stopped thinking about myself so much um, and I started thinking more about others. So um, really, I think the best, the best way to deal with, you know, this, this, you know, that specific problem is to stop thinking about ourselves so much. Um, nice. One and done. Um, Something I wish I knew when I started streaming. Um, don't worry so much. Like, don't, you know what, you know what? Here's what it is. Turn off your view account. On your OBS, hide your view account. This is a sacred present, so I have to cover it. Um, but part of the reason that I, I turned it off initially is because I realized I was, every time there was a lull in chat, or anything like it, I immediately, like, I would immediately check the viewer count. Um, and I would become like a, like a, like a crutch. I just would keep looking at it, keep looking at it. And it was never like, it was never a good thing. So if chat was, was quiet and I looked over at my viewer count and it was super high, you know, that's nice and all, but that's, you know, it doesn't change the fact that my chat was quiet. So but I would still feel weird about like, how is it that there's so many people here, but I'm not able to get them talking? And then if it's low, it's like, oh, well, my view account low is low. That sucks. So I found that no matter what I found, no matter what I saw when I looked over at my view account, it was never helpful. So, Joshua came home while I was wrapping his present. Oh. Finally, he's gone. Uh, what was it saying? Yeah, it wasn't helpful to have your account on. It was just distracting and irritating. So my advice is to focus less on viewer account. In fact, don't focus on viewer account at all. Look, you could look at the end of stream is the thing. Like you can, you can see how you did, but don't worry about it till after because nothing you can really do about it. Um, it's just gonna mess you up and like throw you off. So don't look, just don't look. Uh, focus more on interacting, chatting, playing the game, whatever it is, that will serve you, that will assist in your view account anyway, you know? Knowing what your view account is is not gonna help you increase it, so. Ah, my favorite all-time game, definitely, probably Portal, probably the original Portal. As great as Portal 2 is, and I've only ever played through it once. Ambiance is like really, really amazing. And the story and like the way you're just dropped into it, it's just like, you kind of have no idea what's going on. 
um, that I think is really impressive. Starbucks or mom and pop shop? I guess technically the latter, but technically neither. I like third wave coffee shops, you know, usually like independently owned, um, only one location. And then, you know, they have a small menu and take a lot of pride in their, in their stuff. <laughs> Did you always want to be a streamer? Uh, no, <laughs> I had no idea that this was in my future. Uh, the only reason I started streaming is because, you know, on TikTok, the only real way that you can make money as a creator is by going live and getting, you know, people who can send you gifts. And so I was obviously like, this is my first time in a position like this, so well, at least I'll try it. And I found that I really, really liked, you know, talking to people live on the internet. So I really, what's taking me so long? It, pretty much every, every move forward in my career has been like, to some degree, you know, I'm just gonna give it my best shot and see what happens, like, and, and take every, every like opportunity that I get to try something new or to improve, like I'm just gonna take it. Did not uh, intend on it becoming my full-time job, but COVID definitely changed things and here we are. Hardest part of being a content creator. Um, man, the hardest part I think for me, I guess, is discerning like when, when and what to say. Content creators' lives, our careers are hopelessly, permanently intertwined with our personal lives. And my voice isn't always gonna be the one that needs to be heard in a particular situation. So um, just being discerning about what to share, when to say it, how to say it, etc. <laughs> Why is Larry so lustrous? That's an excellent question. You can ask him yourself. Take him out on a little date. Hardest lesson that I learned in quarantine. Man. Um, people need each other. I don't know if that's necessarily a hard lesson, but that's something that I that's become, you know, evidently clear to a lot of us is that people people need people. Not it's not good for us to be these are obviously extreme circumstances, but as a general rule, it's not good for us to be alone. Um, yeah, it's not easy. Humans are like really fragile. <laughs> Humans are really fragile and we absolutely need each other. <laughs> uh, how to press forward on a bad day. Oh man, it like for me, it usually requires me stepping out of myself because feelings, you know, our feelings determine so much about ourselves and, the, and what we, the way we think and, you know, our hopes and stuff like that. So on a day that you're not feeling good, it's hard to really believe that it's not always gonna be that way. But my dad said, he actually said this on stream once, is that especially when you're young, like, Life is a series of ups and downs and hills and valleys. And like, when you're young, it feels like the valleys are never going to end, um, but they will. So it's, it's, it's stepping outside of like your emotional state, which is not easy. Um, and having hope in tomorrow, perhaps, not, maybe not even tomorrow, maybe um, next week. Yeah, there's no perfect solution, but one thing you can always do is reach out to those who care about you. That's a huge one. Reach out to people. Like I said, we need each other. Well, we're done. We're done wrapping for the day. Got these two for a friend Devin and this, all this is for Josh. Oh wait, I have, I'm a liar. First game I played, it has to be like Animal Crossing Wild World. I remember <laughs> buying the game. We bought the game and used, and the person hadn't reset their, like they'd reset the world, but they hadn't changed the world name. So it was up to me if I wanted to change it. Uh, and the name that was loaded in there was Del Sol, which 
took me a second to learn what that meant. But I, once I looked it up and learned what it meant, I was like, I like that, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep it. What's it like being a Christian content creator? It is interesting. <laughs> One thing that I think has been just, just like a privilege that I've had in this, in this uh, social media, especially like a place like TikTok, which can be unfortunately very hostile, um, very hostile environment is I've gotten to what I hope, hopefully break some, I guess, assumptions or, or stigmas about Christians. Like, and not that that's my objective or anything, but yeah, I don't preach on my stream, but I don't hide it either. So I hope that, that perhaps you're pleasantly surprised um, by what you experience with me. Yeah, you know, it's it's a privilege to to be able to represent the gospel in, 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 a, in, a, in a place like this. But again, like I didn't expect to be, I did not, when I started posting on TikTok, I had no idea I would end up in this position. So <laughs> it's just been, like I said, an act of just, just, just moving forward every day, you know, never really knowing what's, you know, what's coming next. I don't know. I don't know. Last but not least, what would you tell yourself five years ago? Yourself from five years ago. Um, you don't need to have it all figured out, you know? Y your plan is gonna change like three, four times within a five year period. And you know, you can do your best with what you believe your future is gonna look like, but you're probably wrong. So just take each day as it comes. Don't be afraid to explore new interests and, you know, see where you end up. Yeah. All right, I think we're done. I think we're actually done there. <laughs> Check it out. Look at all those presents.